Hey, what's up guys, Scalpy here, and welcome to this week's Team of the Week. I have just tweeted it out, and it looks freaking awesome. There are some incredible gold players and some very expensive looking silvers in this week's Team of the Week. So uh, yeah, overall looking pretty damn nice. In the comments below, let me know which players you'd like to review tonight, and uh, in which order as well, because uh, I, I definitely want to pick up quite a few of these to give them a go, so let me know which player reviews you want to see the most. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's actually get into it and talk about some of these players a bit more. In goal, we've got this guy, Titan, who actually looks... Like it, he's going to be cheap, very cheap, but um, he actually looks decent. 86 diving, 83 reflexes. You never know, I might actually give that guy a go because he looks uh, pretty damn nice. This guy, Adam Matthews, the right back. He's going to be pretty expensive, very expensive in fact. And uh, to be honest, uh, he actually doesn't look too bad. Good pace, good defending, really, really good passing for a silver as well. So uh, yeah, he's yeah, going to be expensive, but uh, it might be worth it. Karim Rekic. This guy is going to be incredibly expensive he's a very popular silver has been for the past two fifas now and uh, he looks awesome as well he's got some incredible stats and yeah as i said there's not the best way to describe this guy uh, this card as a whole is going to be expensive because it is going to be very very expensive let's move on anyway to the left back jefferson whose normal card is not in form is really really op so i do imagine this uh, in form is actually going to be really good so i'm probably going to have to pick that one up as well just to give it a go and uh, yeah, look how well-rounded it is. That looks like an awesome card. You play that anywhere in the field, and it could be a very good card. Eduardo Salvio is up next, the Benfica right mid. And once again, looks like a really, really nice inform. Good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing. Overall, it just looks great. It looks like a very nice inform. It won't be too expensive as well, so uh, that one might be one to try out for all of us. Because uh, he looks uh, pretty damn nice. Paul Pogba. Very, very nice card. I believe this is his second in form. Very, very nice looking in form. Very well rounded. You could play that card anywhere, anywhere all over the pitch, and it could probably do a job. And uh, yeah, second in forms always look awesome, and Pog Pog looks absolutely brilliant. And I'm pretty sure soon, uh, maybe on his, not, not his next in form, but on his team of season, he's going to be plus 80s on everything. So uh, that's going to be pretty incredible. Ivan Rakitic. Second in form, I believe this is. Uh, obviously, a lot of people did think we were going to get an in for Messi this week. Personally, I thought it was too soon after Team Dia, and um, I think he uh, agreed with that. And uh, they're giving us a second in form Rakitic, which actually looks like a really nice card. Probably going to have some really good long shots, and the passing on the card looks absolutely brilliant. And then we move on to second in form. Sanic is all the main person for me, uh, obviously, being an Arsenal fan. Very much looking forward to trying this guy out. Look at that passing 90 passing, 83 shooting, and also 91 dribbling. Looking like a very nice card. And I can't wait to pick that one up. I'm probably going to use it at cam. And uh, yeah, looks pretty damn nice. Perejo, another Spanish, but quite a lot of Spanish players in this team of the week. Uh, Perejo looking very, very nice. That 88 passing and a uh, good physical attribute. So it actually doesn't look too bad at all. We've got Lucas Barrios, scored a hatch over the weekend. Like he's shooting on his card. And uh, you never know, might be a decent little finisher. Before moving on to the main man, the guy who tops the team of the week this week. Second in form, Diego Costa. 84 pace, 89 shooting and 90 physical. He looks crazily good and I may have to pick him up uh, as soon as possible. I may even put him and uh, Kazola in the same team because he looks absolutely incredible. Let's move on to the bench then guys because uh, there is actually a gold player on the bench and a few very interesting silvers. So we can start off with Saucedo who um, had an inform I think it was last year which was incredible so uh, maybe this card could be one to pick up for all you silver people. And then we've got Elia, another gold player on the bench. He actually, his transfer card only came out yesterday, so that's going to go out of packs at 6. But uh, yeah, Elliot looking like a very nice inform, looking very fast as well with that um, good dribbling and good pace. Thomas Matton at left mid, I believe this is a pro league inform. We've got Dwight Gale, position change, originally a striker, looking very expensive. Good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, actually looks really expensive. And uh, yeah, I actually want to pick that card up because it looks great. Uh, we've got this guy, Borgia, up next. And then we've got Ben Kirk, who got a free assist on the weekend. And to finish it off, we've got Diego Chavez, who did score a hatch on the weekend. So overall, I actually really like this week's team of the week. Got some great players in there, some awesome golds, and some uh, very expensive silvers. In the comments below, let me know which players you'd like to review first and in which order. And apart from that, I hope if you guys open packs tonight, you pack a few of these. Have a very good day, and I'll see you later on for the reviews. Goodbye.